It was an emotional morning for the Portland Fire Department and the community as they said their goodbyes to firefighter Timothy Flynn. He died in an apparent boating accident after while off duty last weekend. New Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty has more about him and the ceremony today. It was a very powerful moment as the body of firefighter Timothy Flynn was brought to Peaks Island. A brotherhood salute for Portland firefighter Timothy Flynn. As his body is brought to Peaks Island, the place he called home. He was a quiet leader in the department and he was a um, he was a guy that could just really get stuff done. The 58 year old longtime firefighter died in an apparent boating accident while off duty last weekend. So in these moments, everybody takes a takes a second and reflects on their relationship with Tim. Deputy Chief Sean Neat says he and Flynn work together on the same shift. I was a firefighter, even he's a firefighter. I look to him a lot for for uh, for insight, for his insight. And sometimes he would not want to really give it. Um, but, you know, I think I appreciated that and appreciated, you know, his, his seniority, his leadership and mentorship on the ship. Just in the quiet way he carries himself. Flynn was a lifelong resident of Peaks Island. His family says he picked up lobstering from his father and was always there for everyone. He was the one you would call if you were in trouble and he would fix it and then never like make you feel bad about it. Tim's been on the water his entire life. A procession fit for a lobsterman as he sails on the water one last time. In a time of tragedy like this, when we can all come together and just be together and look at each other and be able to, you know, tribute, pay a tribute to him in this situation is, you know, it brings some comfort. Firefighters say his body will be brought back to Portland later today. In Portland, Rosalind Flaherty, New Center, Maine.